Hey there! Today, we will talk about the one of the teaching strategies in teaching arts, brainstorming. Brainstorming can be fun. You get together and generate a massive list of ideas. It's exciting! Teachers can use brainstorming as a thinking strategy to help students generate questions, ideas, and examples, and to explore a central idea or topic. During brainstorming, students share ideas that come to mind and record these ideas without making judgments about them. When introducing a topic, teachers can use brainstorming sessions to determine what students already know or wish to learn and to provide direction for learning and reflection. Brainstorming stimulates fluent and flexible thinking and can also be used to extend problem-solving skills. Why use brainstorming? By expressing ideas and listening to what others say, students adjust their previous knowledge or understanding, accommodate new information, and increase their levels of awareness. Brainstorming's main purposes are to focus students' attention on a particular topic, generate a quantity of ideas, teach acceptance and respect for individual differences. Encourage learners to take risk in sharing their ideas and opinions. Demonstrate to students that their knowledge and their language abilities are valued and accepted. Introduce the practice of idea collection prior to beginning tasks such as writing or solving problems. Provide an opportunity for students to share ideas and expand their existing knowledge by building on each other's contributions. Always remember that a brainstorming is a large or small group activity that encourages students to focus on a topic and contribute to the free flow of ideas.